I'd like to share with you a Euro motor about the red breasted robin. Um, and this experience here, you guys sitting around a campfire, is something that we grew up with. You know, well, we didn't have any other form of entertainment except listening to the old people. Right. Now I'm the old person. <laughs> <laughs> the red breasted robin, in the beginning, he didn't have red breast. So he actually said to his wife one day, I'm going to go out and look for some mistletoe berries. So he went and he found some, and he was eating these, these berries, the, the mistletoe berries. And his wife was actually building this shelter. And she looked on this hill, she saw some rain coming. So she, so she started to become really concerned. So she called out to him again, Walker, are we good here? And got a little yakari and a walk in the jetta. Now our child's going to get wet in a minute if you don't come and help me build a shelter. And he said, Oh, gee, what's wrong with that woman? Come on, leave the man alone, why don't you? I'm busy eating. <laughs> and kept on ignoring his wife, eating these berries. <laughs> and then he, as, as she was building the shelter, it started to rain. And then she called out to him, and uh, she used some more aggressive words, you know, being a bit more forceful. I won't say those words, though. <laughs> she then said to him, come on now, it's, it's raining and our child's getting wet here. Come and help me build this shelter. He said, what's wrong with that woman? Why don't you leave a man alone? I'm busy eating. <laughs> he kept on eating away. She said, I'll fix you, mate. <laughs> so he picked up his big stick and went and whacked him on the head with it. Oh, wang, oh. wang. And then all the blood ran down over his chest. And then she said to him, now, you'll have to wear the red breast for the rest of your life to teach your men you must help us women with the chores. <laughs> <laughs> so the moral of that story, basically, is that mother is to you know, help your partners. Never underestimate the strength of a woman if you get on the wrong side of her. <laughs> <laughs> she can scar you for life. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, we like that. Now, I'd like to repeat that, but in the form of a song. So, but you can be the lady now, and you can help call out to the husband. So th th it'll go a bit like this here, right? The chorus. Vulka, vulka, yana kanai. Say it. Vulka, vulka, yana Vulka, vulka, yana kanai. Vulka, vulka, yana So you can, you can t tap on your thighs, but please tap to the beat of the music, eh? <laughs> <laughs> What a much a day, you're raving Wakanda. Oh, we are coven, be Kanga. Oh, a chamber, much a day. Money was about to be all for the Yuanga. Come on. 